My name is Indre Balog, and I'm a concert violinist and have been performing all my life as a concert violinist. My mother was a violinist in the Los Angeles Philharmonic, in fact, one of the first women in any orchestras. And my uncle was a violin maker, and my father met my mother because he needed some strings for his violin, and he came to my uncle's shop, and that's how they met. So then, when I was 11 days old, I had my picture in the Los Angeles Times with a little tiny 64th size violin, that they, sh they showed me, here's a new violinist who's just born. I started playing when I was about three and a half, and then when I was four years old, I played nine concerts in public. First time I played with an orchestra, I was six years old. The first time I played as a soloist with the LA Philharmonic in a youth concert, I was eight. I've been the soloist with the Berlin Philharmonic and Rotterdam Symphony, and of course the Los Angeles Philharmonic, and Seattle and Washington, lots of different places. Of course, the idea of a string instrument, it, really with all instruments, is that they in some way match the human voice. And, and the uh, string instruments, I believe, are closest to the human voice in their ability to sing. And the violin is the, is the soprano voice that uh, gets to do all the fun stuff. So uh, that's why I love the violin, because uh, the violin is a, is a singing instrument, playing beautiful long line melodies. So that's, that's what, I, what I enjoy most. <laughs> Playing the violin, of course, has a lot to do with muscle memory. You learn through scales, practicing slowly, where each finger will fall, and eventually your hand just conforms and your brain conforms to knowing exactly where every note is on the instrument. Unlike a guitar, there are no frets. It's difficult to find those spots, but you eventually learn to find those spots completely. And measuring the distance from one note to another is, is often a lot of what the practice is about, is if there's a large jump or something, you have to, you have to get it into your brain and into your hand, how far that, that is in order to make that interval sound in tune. It's a constant amount of study, even today, I'm learning new things all the time and, and refining my technique and, and learning new repertoire. And, and so that's, that's been an ongoing process for many, many years, is, is learning new things to play and, and working with, with other colleagues and, and collaborating in, on musical adventures of one sort or another. I was asked by the theater company A Noise Within, which is a, was one of the preeminent theater companies in, in the United States. Uh, I've had a loose association with them as, a, as an artist for a number of different productions, Shakespeare plays and whatever, where I would become a character in the play, but I would write all the music and then I would be in costume and I would wander around in the action and, and perform. And This piece that I'm playing here is, comes from a production that I did with a noise within of a play by Sarah Rule uh, called Eurydice, and it's based on the myth of Orpheus and Eurydice. So of course that w allowed me to express a lot of beautiful music because that's what it's all about. The music is actually a character in the play. And so I would pop up throughout the action, up in the balconies or down on the stage in various places in costume, and, and uh, I would be part of the, part of the musical experience that, that, brought the, that tied the entire production together.
a great joy for me. It's a great blessing that I'm able to take this beautiful music that so many people have written, uh, recreate it, and bring joy to others by, by what they hear. And uh, it's, a, it's a means of communication that, that transcends uh, every other form, I think, because there, you know, you, a painting is something you, you get whatever you get from it. Uh, but music, as has been so often said, is, is, the, is a universal language. And so it, it speaks to people across all spectra of, of life. And, and so it's a, it's a terrific blessing for me to be able to be a musician, to be able to communicate in that way. Mm -hmm.